Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to install the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing, known as Boeing, to the Pine64 that I got here. This is the Pine64 2GB edition that you see over here, and I am running um, Ubuntu here. It is an Ubuntu image for the um, Pine64 that uses the, the XCFE or SFC, I don't know how that is. Um, if it SCFC or, or X. Anyway, it runs the. It, it is soon to who that runs the. That, that this desktop environment. So, um, the first thing that we are going to do is that um, I am going to the terminal um, emulator over here. So, to start, let's start it again. We go over here to the top and I'm going to launch the terminal emulator here. Um, the best way to install Boink here is to um, write over here sudo apt apt get install Boink as you see it over here and now um, once you type that I'm going to press enter um, I'm going to ask for the password. The, the default password is Ubuntu. So now it will look for the packages. And there it asks us um, to install um, those packages. So of course I will install them. I press um, Y here in the keyboard. Now I press um, Enter again. And now it will start downloading the packages so it can be installed in our Pine64. Just wait, a, just wait a little while it um while it downloads the packages. I'm using a 16 gigabyte uh, micro SD card here. Now it begins to unpack the packages. And now it is processing the, the packages, setting it up. And it finished. So, now that it finished downloading, we go up here again and now there is a system option here in the menu I'm going to click system and over here you notice that Boink Manager is up there so all we have to do is click Boink Manager and there we go here we have Boink Manager installed in our Pine64 and now I just have to add the projects that I want to run so my Pine64 can start crunching so that's that's how to install Boink in the Pine64 um, again this is the, the board over here so this concludes this video showing you how to install and I know you know how easy it is to install the Boink Manager over here so that's pretty much for this video. Now it's up to you to choose the project that you want to run and let your Pi64 um, in a cool place um, so it doesn't overheat or, or put a, a heatsink on it or a fan and just let the Pi64 um, crunch some, some project task. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please like this video, share it with your friends, um, comment on it and thank you for watching.